Hey what's up, it's Richie and I quickly want to say before this video starts, um, there will be a little bit annoying pop sound in the video. Um, my pop filter broke before this video started, before I recorded it. Uh, so there will be once in a while I'll have a pop sound and it is a little bit annoying but uh, I just recommend turning down the volume a little bit more than usual and uh, yeah, hopefully you can still enjoy the video and yeah, let's go into it. Okay, so starting off, we start off with having random storm patterns. So this one is a basic version with the basic storm controller. And this is actually something that a lot of you guys asked for. And this cannot be done with the advanced stuff. So um, you want to have random storms, but they have to be in a pattern. And it is not possible with the uh, advanced stuff. It is only possible with these little sneaky basic storm controllers over here. So what this will do is you can choose basically a pattern of uh, storms. So for example, this storm goes this direction and this storm goes this direction. And you want to, you know, have a random randomizer choose which one of these storms is activated. This is not possible with the other device. This is only possible with this device. And uh, i show you how you can do this. So. What you obviously need is the basic storm controller and settings that you need to set up in here is obviously set the generated storm at game source to, uh, to know. Obviously you want to have it start from a randomizer and then obviously the rest of the stuff is your choice, right? Damage, uh, wait time, resize time, initial radius, whatever. Um, and then you want to set the move direction. You want to leave that to rotation because that is very important. And then also the minimum and move distance and maximum move distance, you have to change that. So if you leave it to zero on both of them, which I think is the default, the storm would just, you know, shrink in itself. But you want to move it actually. So, you know, depending on how far you want to move it, you know, set that up in here. I have it to 75 on these. Um, so you will have an actually moving distance. Obviously move time has to be something as well. And then you want to set up channels for the generate storm. Um, I have five and six for these two. And um, that is basically all you have to do. Another thing which is very important is that you want to set them up in the direction of these little like, I don't know, satellite things here. So if I set the satellite in this direction, it goes in this direction. Same goes with this one, right? The satellite thing over here is going in this direction and the storm will move in this direction. This is very important and uh, you have to do it obviously like this. So let's see if this works. So you can see this one activates this one and this one activates this one. So if I hop in here, you can see the storm is activated. It waits five seconds because that's the minimum. And then it moves in this direction, which is great. That's exactly what we want. So obviously we can also pop on this one and see that here's another storm generated and this one moves in this direction. Okay, great. So now you know that they both work and they move in the direction we want them to move. So now we have to randomize them. And what you need for that is a randomizer. <laughs> Basically what you have to set up in here, so we only have two for now. So what you want to do is go set the uh, value limit to one, which I think is default, then set the other value limit to two, uh, zero, and then change the world time to whatever you want to have. Probably you want to have, to have it to instant. Uh, so it starts directly with the, the, the beginning of the round. And then you want to have zone forward, uh, length, change that to the same one as you have in here. So if you have multiple, like for example, if you have four in here, you want to change that to four as well. So keep that in mind. So we have two, two, and um, that's basically it. Obviously audio and whatever, you can change that off. And then activate depends on what you want to use to activate it. So you can use a round settings device to activate it at the start of the round, but you need a channel in here. So activate it, great. And uh, then what you want to do is you want to move these channels, which we just used to activate the storm. Okay, you see three patterns right now, which is not correct. So, so this is correct now. Um, so we want to move this channel over here. We want to move this channel over here. So then we can see if we activate the randomizer here, it's going to choose one of these two storms, which is great. And um, basically this is how you make it. It's super simple, super easy. And let's move on to the next thing. All right, so moving on to the random classes. And this is the same thing. It is super easy to set up and you don't need a lot of stuff for this. So starting off, you need um, a class designer. So this one is basically where you have your class. So for example, you want to have shotgun, an assault rifle, and a medikit or whatever. So this one is this class here. Um, you want to set up basically everything you need in here. So that is completely on you. There's nothing you can do really wrong on here. Uh, besides of equipping it from the start. So you want to have it obviously not equipped from the start. Um, but basically it is all your choice. So you can do whatever you want in here. Uh, the next thing you need, which then gets a little bit more complicated is the class selector. So this one uh, is basically your 
reason this class gets selected to a player. So you want to set it up next to it to make it nice and clean. Obviously, you want to set that to the same class as your class designer over here. I always also gave them a color so to make them like easier uh, recognizable for each class. So you can set that somewhere in here, color accent. Uh, and the other thing that you want to change actually is just uh, the channel. So change player to class when receiving from. You want to change that to a class of uh, to a channel of your choice. And uh, if you have done that, it is basically done. So obviously, time to switch depends on you, but I, I put it always to instant because there's no need to have it one second or whatever. Uh, so make that and then create a couple of classes, obviously do the same thing. This is class two, this is linked up to the channel two, different different things, you know, you get the point, right? So different classes, different things. And then as usual, we want to set up a randomizer because we want to have random classes. Okay, so same thing goes uh, for this one as with the one in the uh, storm. You set up everything in here, the uh, value limits to three this time because we have three classes. Uh, set up the roll time depending on you. And I will leave it to three seconds because I just want to show you guys how it's rolling. Uh, but obviously that depends on you. And then the last thing that you need to change is obviously the zone, uh, then make the length of the how many triggers you have. And then uh, obviously give it a device which then links to something which activates this one. So for this one, it's very important that you have something like um, a mutator zone or something. Um, for example, if a player starts here on the player spawn pad, you want the mutator zone to activate the uh, randomizer. You obviously can do that with other things, but I think the mutator zone is one of the easiest and most uncomplicated ways of do doing that. So uh, what you set up in here is basically on player entering a zone transmit on, and then the same channel as in the, the uh, randomizer here. So channel seven and center ch uh, channel seven over here. So yeah, you can see these, uh, obviously you can hide them or whatever, but for my case, it doesn't matter. So you know that this uh, mutator zone is over here. So if we go in here, you can see it's changing a class and we get the one with just one assault rifle. If we were to go in here again, it would change another class and we get another class, which is great. So everything is working fine. Obviously the storm just activated for whatever reason. And as you can see, there's really nothing that you can do wrong. You can even use, if you don't want to use like uh, the randomizer here, you can just use the, the class selector. If you want to, don't want to use channels at all, you just can run into the things and you would still get the class, which is super nice. So uh, yeah, let's move on to the next one. So for the next one, we have creating a box fighting starting area. And this one is the same thing, super simple. But I think a lot of people struggle to find this piece of uh, equipment here, uh, which is an objective device. You can find this one in the, um, where is it? Yeah, you can find it in creative, then go to devices, and then you have to go to the objective gallery, then place it down. And you can see that we can, if we delete all these, this is our device that we need. We have to obviously rescale it a little bit, make it smaller, you know, make it fit in the box, and then you're good to go. So what you need to want to set up, obviously you want to set up your box and then uh, if you want to go in here, you want to set up one of these devices here, uh, obviously resize them, set the uh, health to invulnerable. Um, so set the health bar to hide always uh, and then set visible during game to off. Some people leave it on for some reason, maybe they don't think it looks nice. And then what you want to do is obviously uh, place it around the, uh, the box here. Uh, don't make it too close because there's actually a chance that you could still edit this, which is obviously what we not want. And then you want to just rotate it and just place it at every wall here. So let's just quickly do that. And the last thing that we need to do is basically uh, we want to set up a mutator zone. You don't need to do this because you basically cannot do anything in this box as well, but I like to have it clean. So um, get a mutator zone, change the allow building to no, uh, uh, set the allow weapon fire to no as well. I think that's default and then set the zone. So it's um, obviously surrounded the, the box. And then if the run starts, you want to disable it at some point. So you can just put a channel in here, for example, channel seven or whatever, and then have a run device started or whatever. And uh, you have a super clean box fight um, and you're good to go. So moving on to the last one, which is your random player spawns. And for this one, I cannot mention enough. There's a million different ways on how you can do this. But I think this one is one of the easiest ways and uh, the most uncomplicated ways. Uh, to set up. So you want to obviously have different spawn pads here. Um, 
you want to have uh, a small pet with each team here. So team one, team two, team three, team four. And the next thing you want to do is you want to go into my island and you want to go into your my island settings and then go into game and then look for the option team rotation. And this is by default to disabled and you can set that to every round or whatever you want to have here. But what, that's, what that will basically do is it will basically uh, rotate you in the teams around. So what you also can set up here is obviously teams. So you want to have four teams, whatever team size, always one or whatever. Um, and then if you start a game, you will spawn at, let's say, at player one. And if the round ends, you spawn at player two. If this round ends again, you spawn at player three or whatever. So uh, it is a super easy way and how you can you know, have random spawns. Um, obviously this comes with the uh, disadvantage that you cannot really do anything with teams in the game. So if you want to have team switching inside of the game, or if you want to have class specific team designs or whatever, this is not gonna work. There's a lot of different other options with teleporters and stuff like that. And this may be something for a different video. But I think this is one of the easiest versions on how to get a quick uh, team rotation or a team spawn rotation in uh, for whatever Zone Wars maps or uh, simple deathmatch maps or whatever. I think this is one of the easiest versions and uh, yeah, that is basically all I have for you. And that is basically all I have for you today. So we have the random storm, we have the random loadouts, we have the box fight and we have the random sports. Uh, if you have any more things that you want to know, definitely leave it down in the comments. Let me know what is up and <laughs> what. How do you do fellow kids? What? Let me know what you want to see next and I will see you guys hopefully in my next video. Bye.